I here we are going to show you the cache management system that we have built in Salesforce. So the cache management system is like uh, is uh, particularly for uh, lawyers in that uh, the lawyers can uh, uh, add their cases, their contacts, their uh, uh, case related informations and all. So let's start with that. Here it is the practice mat perfect. You can click on that. So here we are on the dashboard of that practice mat perfect. In dashboard, uh, basically there are uh, uh, five active cases, events, total contacts, and payments. You can show. Uh, <coughs> you can check it, and uh, there are also you can add new cases new contacts you can add new nodes new client case nodes and uh, you can also add some payment and billing informations like invoice and payment uh, there also timer is also available there uh, you can start that timer and then you can save and uh, also you can reset that timer uh, and uh, by that you can uh, uh, keep a particular time on particular cases. Uh, the next is uh, cases. Here it is the uh, number of showing the name of cases that uh, is currently active. Uh, for adding a new case, you can click on new and uh, here you can add information about that case you can uh, you have to fill all the information about the cases uh, like uh, and uh, <coughs> by click on any case you can see the details of that case and you can also edit that details by click on edit and uh, next is the uh, contacts here you can add new contacts and you can also uh, have a look on the existing contact you can add new contacts by clicking on new and uh, here you have to fill the information about that contacts then the next one is uh, calendar the calendar is for showing uh, showing you the uh, related meetings on a particular day it will notify you here you can uh, in my calendar like my event cash debt case event and all then after we can uh, click on cash contact like cash contacts uh, means the cash related contacts information that you can add by clicking on new and uh, timekeeping uh, it will show you that uh, how much time you have spent on uh, any particular cash uh, you can also add in new new time in date by clicking on new then uh, there are payment related information like there are three <coughs> available recently viewed payment you can also add new payment information invoices that you have generated for any particular client or any particular cases so here uh, these are the available invoices that we have generated you can uh, create a new on new invoice by click on new and uh, you can also add uh, edit that invoice here you can edit that invoice uh, you can also generate a pdf for that particular invoice so here you can uh, see the details of that payment invoice then after call logs that's 
hope you all oh you all are aware about call log you can also add a new call log then there are some more like cache event cache flooding times client cache nodes internal cache nodes and files so cache nodes uh, here you can uh, add the node of the particular cache you can uh, add a new event you have to give title case name like suppose uh, it is xyz case event type date time start date end date code location division these are the fields cache bladings here you can add cache bladding cache bladding number like file summary document type added by style of cache download type like uh, download type is uh, internal so you can only download internally client cache nodes as uh, we have uh, seen previously client cache node it, you, you can add client cache node by clicking on new like not uh, related to that particular case that case name internal cache node you can also add internal cache node files here you can add uh, case related files you can upload case related files this is the case uh, payment invoice that we have seen previously so when we are click on particular cache then uh, you can also see the all details related to case and also their uh, payment invoice okay so this is uh, basically the overview of uh, the system that we have built in salesforce practice made perfect so hope you all liked it thank you